I'm Kirsten and I'm here with Captain Steve Pearl. And what is it exactly that you do, Captain Kirsten, Steve? Kirsten, I teach simple self-defense techniques to ladies, things that they can master very easy where they don't have to go to class three nights a week. These are things that I believe can increase a young woman's safety quotient to 95% over what they were before that. Wow. Okay, I have a question as a very spontaneous girl. I'm a dreamer as, a po as in Debbie's book. Um, and my head is always in the clouds. When I go shopping, I'm thinking of the next thing that I need to do, the next place I need to go. And I know that's, that's not a very safe thing. How can I, when I'm getting parking, parking, where should I park at a store? I'm not thinking of that. I'm thinking of going into the store. So how can I be cautious, but not overly cautious and just be aware? Right, that is a great question. What I have, in my class, I have a thing called parking lot protocol. And these are simple things that we need to do and not do when we're parking and going into a lot. The first thing when you go into a lot, and most people have heard this, you look for a space as close to the door as possible. Mm -hmm. You try to not park to some big van with darkened windows. Mm -hmm. You don't want to park next to a load of teenagers. You got six boys in the car, windows roll down, hooting and hollering. That is not a good place to park. Okay. So choose your parking place first. If you can't find a place, circle the lot. If there's a security guard there, you're gonna have to park at the back 40, say, hey, sir, would you watch me okay. while I get out of my car and come to the door? Most security guards, it just makes their day if they can protect the female. So that's a simple thing and well within reason. As you park, here is a very good thing to do. Okay. As you get out of your car, take two seconds to do a 360. Pull your phone out. As you get out of the car, close the door, you're looking around, you, that takes about two seconds okay. to look around the parking lot. What you've just done is give a signal to anybody that's watching you that you're paying attention to your surroundings. Mm -hmm. You've just spent two seconds mm -hmm. investing in your own yeah. life. So take the phone out, have it in your hand, walk away from your car look in the direction you're going. If you're the doors here and you're here, you wanna look in that direction. What I normally do is tell folks, go halfway, stop, put the phone to your ear, turn around and look behind you. Why are you doing that? In case someone is following you from the door. Very, very simple technique. The other day I was in Walmart. As I got out of my truck, I noticed two cars over. There was about four guys sitting in the car with the windows rolled down. I started walking to the door about halfway. I stopped, I pointed, I put my phone to my ear. Now I'm pointing at the carload of guys. What are they thinking? Creeped out. Creeped out. They think this old guy is calling security or the police. I went around the cars where they could no longer see me. Then I came back around the cars, put the phone to my ear and pointed again to where they were sitting. Now these guys are starting to feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> you can do that. Any woman walking to the door, look unpredictable, look suspicious. Somebody is gonna be watching you when you get out of your car. The criminal does an interview process. When he's in his car, he's looking for a victim. Be unpredictable, look like you're a loose cannon, and look like somebody that he does not want to mess with. One more quick thing on parking lot protocol. Always, always, always carry a cart from the store. Huh. If you're at Walmart, even if you don't have anything, if you got a sack this big, put it in the cart, walk out the door. What does that do? That puts a pretty large piece of steel between you mm -hmm. and anybody that decides to come out between cars and interconnect with you. Yeah. You can push that into them, hit the ground, and you're gone. So very good barricade between you and a danger. Take that all the way to your car, open the door, get in your car. So that gives you something in your hand as a weapon. Okay. So you can use it against them or you can, it gives you a few seconds delay. Whereas if somebody jumps out and they're right there in your face, you've got no reaction time.